This tutorial will show you how easy it can be to apply dye tints to images and create a color composite image. In this example we have three different images opened, all acquired in a different channel. So we'll go ahead and right click on the red image that's open in our workspace right now. And you can see we have a tint red option available in our context menu. Click on that button and it tints the image red. Now we'll go to our green image, tint that green, blue, and we'll tint that blue. Now you can see when I started to create or when I applied my second tint, it already started to open a color composite image. And then once I tinted that last blue image, it added that to the composite. So now we have our color composite dialog opened. And um, if we wanted to, we could just go ahead and apply to create the final color composite image, which we'll go ahead and do that. And now here is our final composite image. Very nice. But if we wanted to make some adjustments, we could go back to that color composite view. And what this is doing is still holding these three individual images or three individual channels um, in this workspace. So we could click on the view by the green image and we could continue to um, adjust. We could change the dye tint, uh, change the display. We have access to the brightness, contrast, and gamma here and we could do that to each of the different channels. Uh, we also have the ability with this little show blink hide tool next to each of the images to either uh, blink that channel so you could see how it's different from the others. And then again here is our final composite image. So that's a quick way to create a color composite image from three separate channels in ImagePro Insight. We hope this was useful. If you have any questions, please contact your local sales office or a media cybernetics representative.